Hi guys, welcome to my video. I hope that you will find it helpful. If that is the case, then please subscribe and like so that we can keep this resource for free. Thank you. Welcome to our first recording, our first lesson in business management. We are starting with learning module one today and we're going to address the, coding, the, the, is the question, what is management? So really what we are talking about is the nature of management. So I've given you a working definition of management there. It's about people, managers, we call those people, that control other people and resources in a business. So it's all about combining resources, growing the business, making a profit, providing customer satisfaction, and ensuring that the company runs smoothly. And if company is going to run smoothly, a company will be both efficient and effective. So we can now ask ourselves the question, what are the resources that are being managed in a company by a manager? Well, it's firstly people. And if it can be a specialized function, in which case we call it human resource management, then it's also money, and that can also be a specialized function. And then we call it financial management. Um, and I guess we can even include sales in that. Then we have the management of the machines and the equipment and everything else that we think of when we talk about operational management. Then there is the entire knowledge component. And knowledge really has two aspects to it. It has the IT component to it as well as the IP component. So IT is information technology and IP is intellectual property. Don't get confused between the two. Then also there's entrepreneurship and innovation that must be uh, managed um, so that can actually be to the benefit of the company. And then of course there's also the raw materials and when that becomes a specialized function, we call that logistics management. When we're talking about efficiency and effectiveness, we are talking about doing the right things the right way. So if we do the right things, we will be effective. And if we do things the right way, we will be efficient. And for a company to operate, it needs to be both effective and efficient. Then we're going to have a look uh, in this recording, in any case, at the different management levels. And really, for our purposes, we are going to look at four management levels, the supervisors who only manages the workers, middle management, top management, and directors. On this first slide, we are only going to look at the functions of supervisors and middle management. And then on the next slide, we will have a look at the functions of the directors and top management. So what do the supervisors do? They maintain general discipline. So for instance, think of a construction site. If somebody comes on site and that person is drunk, then most certainly the supervisor will, is the person who will make sure that the person does not get onto the scaffolding. They are the ones who ensure that targets are met. And uh, that means that they will sometimes threaten the workers, I guess, if they have to or encourage, but they will do anything to make sure that the targets are indeed met. They do make certain decisions within guidelines, but only the, the decisions that's actually been delegated to them to start with. They will give operational advice to the workers because they are often the operational experts themselves and not that long ago they were indeed workers and so they still know how to do the job and are therefore able to give operational advice. They're also the ones who assign the physical task to workers. So on a construction site, they are the one who will say to somebody, you are going to push the wheelbarrow today and uh, you are going to be the person who puts the bricks in the wheelbarrow and you are going to be the person who throws it up so that the bricklayer can bolt. So those, those types of specific tasks is assigned by the supervisors and then they report to the seniors. With regard to middle management, they are the ones that, that make sure that the goals that is given by top management are indeed achieved. Okay, So they are the implementers of the business strategy, but they are completely dependent on others for results. If the workers do not work and the supervisors do not supervise, it's going to be reflected very bad on middle management. 
and uh, therefore they try to motivate and inspire those under them so that they can indeed achieve those results and in the case of middle management a lot of their time is spent drafting and writing and consolidating reports so when we then look at the higher management levels we have two groups there the directors and the top management with the ceo right in between so what do the directors do well firstly we need to distinguish between the two type of directors being either executive or non-executive the executive directors are employed and paid by the company and the non-executive directors are not employed by the company and they are only paid when they actively attend meetings of either the, the directorate or subcommittee of the directorate they are the ones that issue and classify shares and pay out dividends they approve financial assistance they make strategic decisions they avoid conflict of interest especially if they are part of more than one company directorship and they are the ones who appoint the executive directors being the ceo the cfo and the company secretary ceo is of course for chief executive officer cfo is the chief financial officer there is another executive director that's not in there but is sometimes a executive director and that is the coo or the chief operational officer then what top management do is they design and communicate the organizational strategy they draft the budget and source operational capital they recruit talent and identify the employees for development they evaluate and communicate organizational performance they ensure compliance with regulations and ethical standards and they are the ones who communicate with the shareholders um, and maybe that should rather have been stakeholders because it's not just shareholders they communicate with they guide the organization in difficult times they develop and implement contingency plans and they ensure that the company stay in business so they are responsible for long-term sustainability the ceo that's right there between the two is both the director of a company and also part of top management he's in fact the highest ranking manager and um, he is also the sorry and he's also an executive director i just realized now that my plug came out so my machine is going to die if i don't plug it in let me just see what's going on here okay i'll fix that now after we're taking a break and he has the final say and he is fully accountable and he's also the first one often to be fired thank you for watching this video to the end if you found it valuable please subscribe and like thank you